for step 6a, we will go back to our transactions sheet and complete the transaction type for each of Veronica's sales. Specifically, we need to classify if each one of those transactions is above average, average, or below average based on the industry average. Wonderful. We need to start with an if statement. And if you have done if statements before, an if statement says, if something is true, tell me what I'm supposed to display if this is true. So I'm basically doing is, if this is equal to 40815, uh, tell me that this is true. Otherwise, tell me that this is false. All right, I'm going to make it very simple. This is not the actual answer. Um, so if this is equal to 4815, tell me that it's true. Otherwise, give me that it's false. Oh, it is not true because there's some sense actually associated with that. And I could keep going down. I don't think it, none of them are going to be true because, of course, there's more sense. Uh, so uh, what I could have done is I could have said if if round right if the round value of j2 no decimal actually to two decimal places right equals to 4a14 tell me if it's true and then that would have made it true and let's see if there's any other 4a15 none of them oh there's another one right here okay see there's another one right here that's 4a15 that would have been true so basically an if statement you open an if statement first we give it a logical expression that it's supposed to evaluate. Then we're going to tell them, right, um, or tell Google Sheet what, what to display if the, if the condition has been met and if it's not. All right. Now, in this case, it's going to be a little more complicated than that. So let's go ahead and, and start by seeing an if statement where this value is greater than a value that we need to look up. So we have to combine our lookup value. So let me get rid of the if statement for now. And I'm going to do a lookup value to make it very, very easy. So let's do a V lookup of the industry in this field. In which range? Well, let's go to the industry summary, and I can go in um, on range. And I can go all the way to the end, or I can just go to the largest, or I can, you know, whichever one. All of these are the same. So I'll make it simple. I'm just going to look at the ones that are necessary. So let me go ahead and do the lookup from A1 to G1, right? Then the lookup function is going to ask me, which column do you want to display? Well, I want to display the average profit margin. So that would be column number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's my column number seven. And that's it. So I'm going to keep it simple for now. Let's display. So the ah, I didn't anchor it and I made a mistake. All right. Let me anchor it first before I send it everywhere and then I'm going to copy paste it in all my transactions. All this is doing is showing me the average transaction for this industry for service, aerospace, professional services, etc. The question here is we need to evaluate this operating margin and see if it's above above the average give or take 20% more, right? So this times 1.20 will be the amount that will determine if this transaction is above average. So now we can do an if statement saying, let me, let me grab this entire lookup value. And, and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to start all over again by saying, if this value is greater than my lookup value, right? It's 1.20 percent then this is going to be an above average 
transaction. Otherwise, I can do another if statement if it's false. So if this J2 value is less than the lookup value, right? Then the industry average times 80%, right? Then this should be below average. Otherwise, we will consider that to be in the average length. And notice that I'm displaying text, so I need to make sure that I am uh, con wrapping that text within text uh, quotation marks, right? All right, so see, it's a nested if value. If it's higher than 1.2 of the industry standard, then that should be above average because that's more than 20% of the average value for that industry. And if it's below 20% or, or meaning below 80% of the average standard or the average for that industry for the year 2018, then we will display below average. Otherwise, we're going to say average. And notice that all of these evaluations are based on the 2018 numbers that we summarize on the industry summary sheet. And it doesn't matter if the, 20, if the transaction is occurring in 2017. We're comparing it against the 2018 for simplicity purposes. And now I can just copy paste. Everything is anchored, so it should all work perfectly fine. Uh, and that kind of makes sense because most of the transactions average about 200 and something dollars. You can see the ones that are 591 to be above average. Should have made this 33% to make it more equally distributed. All right, and that's it. That's the end of this transaction. I hope that was helpful. Um, I was going to let you guys do this on your own, but let's go ahead and get it wrapped up.